at, at its heart, wokeness is divisive, um, exclusionary, um, and hateful. You know what woke means? It means you're a loser. Everything woke, everything woke turns to shit, okay? It's true. It's true. They don't want me to have a voice. So I always understood this. I knew that sooner or later they were going to just look at me and think he's too big of a problem to exist. But if you reach a critical mass where you're having a genuine in impact and effect at a certain point, I think that they just come for you and shut you up. Well, just when you think you knew Elon Musk, he goes and flips the script. Guess who's back? I'm Jazz Bergonzo and this is What's Next. Guess who's back? Back again. Trump and Tate. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? 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 Yes, Elon Musk brings back Donald Trump and Andrew Tate. Oh, how the leftist heads are exploding all over the interwebs. Let's take a look. This comes out of my bar. Elon Musk restores Donald Trump's Twitter account. Yes, the infamous one is back. Former President Donald Trump's Twitter account was restored on Saturday after his social media platform new owner, Elon Musk, polled users about the idea. A simple Democratic poll. With 15 million votes, 51.8 to 48.2, allowing him to come back. So what does Elon do? The people have spoken. Trump will be reinstated. Vox Populi, Vox Dei, Musk wrote on Saturday night. The final vote was 51.8 to 48.2. It appears that all of Trump's tweets have been restored, but his account no longer follows anyone. He also has to regain all of his followers, which reached nearly a million within an hour of his account being restored. It is unclear whether Trump plans to use Twitter again after building his own social media company, Truth Social. Trump weighed in on Musk's poll earlier Saturday, noting that he likes the billionaire's decision to purchase Twitter, but he said he did not see any reason to come back. But, uh, True Social has been very, very, very powerful, very, very strong, and I'll be staying there, he said, in a video discussion with the Republican Jewish Coalition. But I hear we're getting a big vote uh, to also go back. I don't see it because I don't see any reason for it, but let's hear. Mr. President, I wanted to pivot a little bit to uh, current events as in happening in real time. I don't know if you've been following. Uh, Twitter is blowing up today. Elon Musk posted a poll uh, that had over 13 million respondents so far asking whether or not you should be reinstated uh, on on Twitter. Uh, my question to you is, what do you think about uh, Elon Musk buying Twitter? And if you are reinstated, will we see you back on Twitter again? Well, I like that he bought it. I've always liked him. I got along with him very well uh, during my days as president, and I got to know him pretty well. Uh, but I do like him. I've, I've always really... You know, he's a, he's a character, and uh, I tend to like characters, but he's smart. Uh, he did put up a poll, and I hear it's very overwhelming, very strong. But I have something called Trump. If you look, it's Trump owned, but it's, uh, it's really fantastic. Truth Social. And Truth Social uh, is, is through the roof. It's doing phenomenally well. The press hates to talk about it, but it's doing phenomenally well. I think engagement is much better than it is with Twitter. And it's uh, taking care of voices that really want to be taken care of and really smart voices, brilliant voices, voices that in many cases are both sides. But I can tell you there's a lot of voice for Israel, a lot of power for Israel in Truth Social. So Truth Social has been very, very powerful, very, very strong. And I'll be saying that, but I hear we're getting a big vote to also go back on Twitter. Uh, I, I don't see it because I don't see any reason for it. We go from that to this. Another comeback, Andrew Tate is back on Twitter after Elon Musk lifts the five-year ban. Yes, Andrew Tate was gone five years. Controversial internet personality Andrew Tate has been officially unbanned by Twitter after being booted from multiple social media sites earlier this year. Andrew Tate seems to be officially back on Twitter as his profile, Cobra Tate, is back online. This comes after Elon reinstated other users following a free speech post. 
saying that he reinstated Kathy Griffin, Jordan Peterson, and the Babylon Bee. Tate appeared to celebrate his comeback with a post that read, Mastery is a funny thing. It's almost as if on a long time, I'm sorry, long, long enough time scale, losing simply isn't an option. Such as the way of Wudan. Musk has yet to comment on Tate's uh, apparent reinstatement on the site at the time of his writing. To see Donald Trump back and Andrew Tate back on Twitter is a great thing. It's a glorious thing. But at the same time, if you listen to Donald Trump, he's like, why bother coming back? I've got my own venue. I've got my own platform um, where we have like-minded voices. Now, from what I hear about True Social, there's a lot of echo chambers. And you kind of want that back and forth. You want that dueling back and forth. And that is what Elon is trying to fix with, of course, him unloading people uh, who are there, who have serious influence in regards to the policy and guidelines of what is allowable and what is not allowable. He let them go. To the tune of over 4,000, he said bye-bye to. He wants debate. He wants uh, critical debate. He wants back and forth. He wants right versus left. He doesn't want the fringes. He wants the middle, the healthy middle. And um, it's going to take some time for him to get there. Uh, so right now, Donald Trump is staying uh, put, so he says. But uh, we'll see when he drops his first tweet what the reaction will be. And uh, I'm sure it will be explosive. Uh, from what I am seeing, from what I saw as of late last night into this morning and now the afternoon, of course, the leftist heads are exploding all over the place because they are screaming, Andrew Tate, same way. This is a guy who basically talks about masculinity. He talks about real men. He talks about men defending women. He talks about only men and women, you know, who talks about uh, none of the nonsensical garbage that the left are constantly spewing, you know, regarding quote-unquote tolerance and diversity and inclusion. No, 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 no. Andrew Tate's not about that. Andrew Tate's about saying, guess what? You're a man. You're a woman. As a man, you defend a woman. You know, if there's an issue with a woman, you as a man step up and take your responsibility, take your, be accountable, work hard, bust your ass. That is what being a man's about. Well, of course, you know, that's not, that's a no-no, you know, because of his questionable past. But um, there's going to be more to come. It's going to be very interesting in the coming days. And I just did a video yesterday. I dropped a video yesterday saying, what's up, Elon? No Trump, no Alex Jones. And speaking of Alex Jones, still not back yet. That is only a matter of time. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.